going to open the wheel app which is spin the wheel and it's the first thing in my series suggestion and it shows December puzzle picker I kind of like showing this at the beginning of my videos and if you guys get tired of it just let me know but let's see what we have as I've mentioned in a couple of other videos what you see on this wheel the wheel on top is all of the puzzles that I had set aside for December but once I tap it I'm down to I believe just 10 more puzzles that I hope to do this month of December so let's see what is next okay it's one of my Seiko puzzles called rustic lodge cozy fire I have two jigsaw puzzles that are called Rustic Lodge, so I will get the cover to this or the box to this and I'll super, superimpose it on top of this wheel and I look forward to starting it either tonight, maybe even tomorrow, but here you have it. Now one thing I haven't shown you is at the bottom of the screen it says hide slice, so if I hit hide slice, it removes Rustic Lodge so that the next time I spin the wheel, I won't have that as a choice at least that version of rustic lodge like i said there's two and i put them both in my queue for december so i'm going to go ahead and add this to my video and i will see you with my next as i do my next puzzle well i can't believe i actually got this puzzle done this cozy fire rustic lodge puzzle from seco is from the artist dominic davison i bought two of these puzzles they're similar in some ways and different in other ways but when i got this for my spin the wheel i was excited to do it but unfortunately it's a very dark dark puzzle and considering mood disorder issues and seasonal depression riding in on its white horse i had trouble finding myself engaged with this puzzle as much as I love Dominic Davison. However, I decided that since it was a challenge, I would not do a second puzzle while working on this. And I just worked on it for three or four days until I finally got it together. I don't usually have a negative attitude for a hobby, something that I enjoy, but if my mood is dark and the puzzle is dark, it's not a great combination. It's the same way with movies. If I am experiencing a dark mood, I don't want to watch a tearjerker of a movie. I mean, it just seems like they're one and the same with regard to that. And then, as if this puzzle wasn't already challenging, we are experiencing our first nor'easter here in Massachusetts. High winds and constant rain for the next several hours since last night and so therefore we have no power so this section at the end the last hundred pieces or so I did with a neck lamp on and the funny thing is the neck lamp didn't really provide enough illumination but because I only had about a hundred pieces left a lot of the rest of the puzzle went together by the pieces clicking into place so there you have it rustic lodge cozy fire by dominic davison i want to thank you for watching and i will see you with my next video